So here I got a Vizio 55 inch. It uh, appears to not have any power, but it actually does have power. It's just that the backlights are not working. Um, I can hit the power button over here in this corner. If you watch right down here, you can see that the power indicator light comes on and then goes off. And then uh, if you do the little trick of shining a light on the screen and get it just right when you hit the button, you can actually see the Vizio logo and then if you hit the power button again you can actually see it go through you know uh, your input settings but you you have to get the light just right on there to be able to see it so that tells us that we're getting a display on there it's just that uh, the backlighting is not working so to give you an idea of what it looks like when uh, when what you're looking for on the screen I'll put a picture right here. And then all we have to do is just take the back off and figure out what's going on back there. Um, there is a, for this particular Vizio, there is a, uh, a known, known uh, repair that needs to be done on these and this is, this is the, uh, the board and the connector that goes, uh, goes to uh, the LEDs to light it up. So I'll set this up different. I'll uh, get this TV laid down because I don't have the stand for it. This was given to me so I don't have to worry about scratching it. It already has a couple little scratches over here, but but uh, otherwise it's in pretty good shape. But so we'll we'll see what we can look at on that board, and then uh, go from there. If we can get the LEDs to work, then we can see if there's anything else wrong with the picture. So all the screws are out now. So all you have to do is lift this piece up. And that exposes all the boards underneath. To get to the LEDs, you have to actually take the whole TV apart, of course. But uh, we're going to look in here first and see if uh, see if this has the, the obvious that all other videos on the internet have that shows you what the problem is. I'll change the camera view here and then uh, I'll let you look inside here. So here's a close-up of what's going on in the back back here. Um, I'm suspecting this connector right here. Um, if you've done your research, you've been online or, and you've looked at uh, different videos for this TV and you've seen videos about this being the problem with why the, uh, the backlighting doesn't work. So that's what we're going to look at first. So I need to take these boards out and uh, disconnect all this stuff and then we'll uh, check that connector. All right, I think that's all the screws. Now I didn't discharge the capacitors or anything yet. Um, so if you, uh, if you wanna not get shocked, you might wanna do that first. But uh, I'm gonna take this board, this clip. There's this little clip right here that you gotta push out of the way to get that board out of there. There's another screw somewhere. Unless 
guess it's just glue. Something holding it. I can wiggle this wiggle this board like this and we can see that those are uh, are moving. See if I can zoom in here and get that probably I don't know if my camera will stay there but but if you look look at these pins you can see they're moving so they're definitely not soldered in anymore so I'm going to uh, get these boards out of here figure out why it's sticking over here get these boards out of here and then uh, I'll show you what I come up with afterwards little sticky thing right there. That's what was holding it down. Remember I still haven't discharged capacitors but I guess uh, I like living on the edge apparently. I want to get a Magnifying glass here. I'm going to look at this. Oh, yeah. Yep, them are all. Them are all broken. see that I'm wiggling the, the connector now and you can see that they're broke here's a video from my phone I have a magnifying glass that I can put in front of my phone camera and it'll zoom in a lot better than what my other one can but you can see how broke all those connection connections are the solder points so that's what we're gonna fix that's pretty bad. They uh, they definitely uh, foobarred that one. Come up with a better design. Maybe just uh, solder some wires in there. A diff totally different kind of connector. That probably would have been the best thing. All right. So that's the problem. Problem one, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and solder those up and uh, stick this back together and see if that's the only problem we have. If not, we'll uh, keep searching and go from there, but uh, that's what we'll tackle first. So I finished soldering up the connector here, and I got looking around, and I seen some what looked like potentially bad solder joints in the near future. Um, and I did look at these closer on this board, and I seen cracks around those. I took a few pictures that I'll uh, insert here and, uh, and show you the different spots that I touched up the solder. You can see this whole area right here is dark, so this is a hot area. So I touched up the solder joints on this transformer here that's on the other side. And there's a couple spots down here. They all had little tiny cracks around the edge. Um, they didn't look like they were failing right now but they look like it wouldn't be long before they would fail 
So I went ahead and touched those up. A couple resistors here. Uh, they're pretty big resistors, so I touched those up. You can see these big resistors right here. They're going to get hot, a little warm, so I touched those up. Um, so this way we wouldn't have to go through this again anytime soon, hopefully, if this whole thing works. So I'm just going to slip this all back in here. All right, we got it all hooked up. Looks like everything should work. And just to let you know, because I did all that extra soldering, I did go ahead and discharge some capacitors and stuff like that, so I wouldn't get shocked. So uh, that is definitely one thing you want to do. So I guess now we uh, uh, just double check, make sure I got everything here. Looks like everything looks pretty good. I guess we can fire it up. I don't know if there's any holes, if we can see through the back here or not. It doesn't really look like it. I don't know if we'd be able to see there or not, but uh, I, th I guess we could just try it and if you can't see nothing, then I'll flip it over and then uh, I'll try it again. Reach my cord. Alright, got some juice there. Plug this in. I got a uh, power light that come on over here. And then of course went off. Here I'm going to hit the power, see if we see any lights in the back or not. Ah, I see lights in the back. Right here, here. Uh, you can't see that, but zoom out here a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to read. I'll be able to reach that over there or not, but uh, I do have some light coming from the back through this little hole here, and I have some over at this end farther down here that uh, you can't see. So I'll go ahead and uh, flip this over. So I lifted this up and I was able to see underneath. Um, I got a, a small work area here that I'm working in, so it's kind of tough to move things around and get things situated. I hope soon in the future that I'll have a better location to do all this and better light, and so you know, so I can make better videos. But I did lift it up and I did see that the screen came on. I'm going to go ahead and throw this back cover back on, and then get some of this other stuff out of the way and lean this up against the the wall like I had it before to show you that that uh, it does work and uh, then we'll see if everything on the screen looks good because I only seen a little bit from peeking underneath All right, all the screws are in the back. Then uh, I'm going to set this up against the wall so we can see if I wasted my time putting that back on or not. I must have broken faith in myself or something, or faith in the TV. All right, so we're set back up the way we was the first time. I got it plugged in. You're seeing it for the first time just like I am sitting up like this. So let's see what happens. That's a good sign so far. I don't have 
no cable or anything hooked up to it, so that looks good to me. Yeah, I didn't uh, didn't connect nothing for inputs or anything, but I didn't need that to show this because we know that was black. It didn't light up before, and now it does. So uh, we're good. <laughs>